Okay, moving on to the next one, we have Alima Abubakar. Alima Abubakar, she's an actress, a Nollywood actress. Okay, she posted a picture on on Instagram. Like I usually say, the social media is kind of on real world. There's a lot of fakeness, fakeness going on there. I saw this, okay, on Insta blog. Alima Abubakar forgets to switch accounts while commenting on her own post so she forgot to switch account while commenting on her post you know saying good stuff about herself it shows that she pays so much attention to people's opinion and in order to feel better she feel she could do it herself because some people do like that if you don't really get much um good comments they will help themselves which is something I still don't think because within you, you know the truth that this is not real. This is, I mean, this is me. But then again, if you feel better about it, then it's fine. As long as it's what makes, it's what works for you. Um, it's more like insecurity if you ask me though. Um, I should have, you know, talked about this in the beginning. Banky W accept defeat. Um, yeah, so he, he lost in the race. He was running for the... I think House of Rep, Etiosa, and he lost to Obani Koro's son, the APC candidate. But the thing is, this guy's father has cases, you know, of corruption, you know, hanging around his neck. But as Oshomore would say, immediately you join APC, all your sins are forgiven. But I wouldn't say like father, like son. Uh, because I, I don't really know much details about this guy. I can't use the father, the, the history of the father to judge the son. So he might be good or bad leader. I don't know. But he's also a youth. I hope he doesn't embezzle that much. Even though he's going to do it at all. So that is it. Banky W lost. Wyclef confirmed that he is a Nigerian after taking a DNA test. Well... I saw that on his page, on his Instagram page. Check out his new video on YouTube, Baba. Um, yeah, I followed the link. Check out his new video on YouTube. I actually, I have to go watch the full video. And it's actually amazing. This guy, everyone, I mean, we, we all thought that this guy is from Haiti. But I want Wyclef, apart from this song, because this song is more of a message. So uh, <laughs> I still can't tell you that, oh, this guy said he's Nigerian. Oh, this guy... Confirmed that he's Nigerian because it's filled with message. So um, I can I, I'm still waiting for an interview, okay, for him to come out and tell us, you know, I, after he discovered that he's a Nigerian, his reaction and these things like that. So I can 100 percent say, oh, this guy is a Nigerian or whatever. You got anything to say for yourself? And I just took my DNA test, dun da da, 100% Nigerian, ba ba When you gonna learn a, can't frame a earner, came with the noose, I freed myself like Matt Turner, sucker free, purge myself. So, we are willing to accept him, you know, so what tribe do you think this guy um, is from? Um, is he Yoruba, Hausa, or Igbo? Let me know, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. He looks like, hmm. It looks like someone from the Ninja Delta. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I think. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Wyclef, we, we are willing to accept you into our domain. Come on. Into our lovely abode. I mean, look at. You've sold over 100 million albums worldwide. And he has won several Grammy Awards over the course of his career. So we are willing to accept you into our life, Wyclef. Well, here's our picture of the day. We have the beautiful t balls here. t balls look very beautiful, but t balls you should see this makeup not too much. Uh, but the lady fine, Sha. I like what's written on her shirt. Make rap great again. Yes, make rap great again. Well, guys, that's our picture of the day. So Whiskey will be out soon. Well, he's, he's not in prison though. <laughs> so, Whiskey is reminding us now, okay, daddy outside soon. So, Whiskey, we're expecting you. I mean, few days into, or few weeks into his break, this guy was already trending on 
Twitter big time, like it was trending, everybody talking about him, you know. So I, I'm just thinking like immediately after the break, I think he's going to trend again. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully though. Well, that's it, guys. Um, um, Here, you know, speaking about internet trolls, here we have Uriel. Okay, the former Big Brother Niger housemate, um, she replied a troll that said she's still begging for endorsement deals and cars. Um, she has, so she put out a long write-up, <laughs> a long statement just to reply to this person. Um, it's not easy to be in the limelight. It's very hard to be in the limelight. What people don't understand is they would think, oh, it's her being insecure. I mean, it doesn't mean and stuff like that. They, they get a lot of this every day. A lot of hate comments every day. Sometimes you just pick someone, use them as scapegoats. So um, some people just want you to. They are human. They are human beings as well. Some people just think you you could just ignore all comment like that. No, there's just so much comment that you can take before you reply. So I understand. I understand her, and I understand the effect. Okay, when someone bash you, you know you ignore a lot, but you just want to pick one person to show a lesson. Okay, here we have David Doe. Congratulations to David Doe. You finally make it to the list of the people nominated for Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award 2019. Favorite global music star. David Doe nominated alongside not one of my favorite US artists, Taylor Swift, and this guy from Europe, David Goetta. So you know, Davido is doing big thing. Congratulations to Davido, by the way. Win or no win, you know, congratulations to him. So, guys, I'm still on Davido. Now, Davido, <laughs> he was interviewed in, in the US in a studio. Yep. <laughs> and they asked him, you know, are you guys engaged? Um, I mean, Chioma. And Davido was quick. To say no. <laughs> so did she get my country? And I got something to do with it. Right. So you're engaged right now? No. No. no you I'm have a girlfriend? Engaged. Yeah, my mind. Uh, is she the chef? Yeah, she's chef. Best chef. How long have you been with her? Like five years. I'm good. I'm my Actually, they are not engaged. So the answer, if you ask me, is he a right answer? Yes, of course, because he's saying the truth. They are not engaged. But the reaction, come on, David Do. So that is what people were saying. Okay, that's the mixed reaction on social media. That everyone saying, ah, look at Chama just wasting our time with David Do. David didn't even have intention of proposing to this lady, of staying with her forever. He's just deceiving us, deceiving Chioma, you know, and this and that. There were a lot of mixed reaction online. Here, let me quickly take some comments davido is davido is stupid whiskey will never do that to his girlfriend or baby mama huh okay he said no like say engagement not seen chai let me know what you think about everything i've said in the conversation below thank you guys for watching until see you next time peace